Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video we're going to learn how to create a fence similar to this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, oh, I guess just to look a little bit deeper, this is a, the Blender file that we're going to be creating. Something similar to this. Where we just have a whole bunch of fence posts lined up. So we'll go ahead and open up a new file in Blender. Uh, we're just going to use this basic cube for uh, I think everything actually. So let's just go ahead and make it taller. Um, I'm not using any exact measurements, but just make it look like a plank, like this, just in the dimensions. Um, also, if you are fairly new to Blender, to scale it, you hit the S button, and you can middle mouse click and drag to uh, lock it to an axis. You can see the white pointer that is following my cursor a little bit and if you line it up with one of the axes like the green one it'll snap to the green axis if you line it up with the red one it'll snap with the red one or the blue one which is vertical uh, so yeah just use that and then click and figure out exactly or not exactly but approximately what you want your planks to look like in the dimensions uh, next we're going to tab into edit mode hit 7 and we are going to go over here to the modifier and click add modifier subdivision surface and you can say in s in the 7 viewport uh, make sure you're hitting it with your numpad 7 uh, just while you're over just, you can just look at this for right now but you can see that the subdivision surface really played with our model in a negative way so if we just come up here and hit control R this stands for a loop cut and subdivide or just loop cut um, and so we can just click and then we can drag it over here and here and that fixes a little bit of our problem uh, our second problem now is it just comes really sharp to the top and bottom so let's also go back up to the top view again and do the same thing this way that will solve a little bit more of our problem uh, now we have weird issues here so let's just do the same thing with this viewport and I just hit 3 to go to this uh, we're in the right orthographic right now uh, loop cut with the control R go to the top and bottom and now we have a plank that looks pretty good, it has some rounded corners um, you don't necessarily have to subdivide it but the thing is in real life nothing is exactly sharp so it's good to have just a slight bevel on most things that you you actually create So. I think that'll be a good touch to our fence. And this is really where the magic comes in. You can just minimize that. But you just go down to here to array. You can see that it's arraying on the uh, what is that, the x-axis. So now we can just create, let's just change this from 0 on the x to 1 on the y-axis. You can see that it puts it exactly on that. So maybe we don't want 1, but maybe like 1.1. Yeah, somewhere in there. Or you could even, if you want it a little bit more gapped, you can kind of play with this to your liking. You can also just drag it however you like. I think I'm going to go with 1.2. I kind of like that. And then I'm going to go maybe uh, 7 or so. Is that maybe maybe 6? Yeah, I think 6 is about right. Uh, and then I'm going to make another cube. Oh, make sure you're in object mode. If you're in edit mode when you make the cube, things will not work out correct. Um, yeah, so now I just do very similar as you did with that one. This one's just going to be a little bit different though. So I'm going to go into the, f the right orthographic view by hitting the 3 and positioning it a little bit taller. This is going to be like the middle post in between each of these big posts. So I'm going to just push position it over here. And on these posts, so I'm going to tab into it. On these posts, generally like in this photo that I have here, they come up to this like this point. Uh, you don't have to do this. This is optional. Just as much of what I do on here is optional. Uh, you to make that point, it's actually really easy. So I'm just going to click right here. So this allows us to like kind of see through objects and then select points. So like we can select these back ones from this view. It's kind of nice. So. Uh, I guess before we do that though, let's loop cut. So just so you can see what's going on, I'm going to Control R and bring this all up here, 
all the way up here just in line with this or wherever you would like it to converge or start converging into the one point the, the pyramid um, and then I'm going to select the top ones and just scale it up down into somewhere like that and then make it a little bit shorter maybe somewhere in that lines um, and just like we did before I'm going to add a subdivision surface this is going to look like it screws everything up and it kind of does for the time being hit control 3 control R to loop cut bring it all the way to the bottom and bring one all the way to the top and then what's really cool is right now you can see that it looks rounded here but if we loop cut each of these it will do the same thing so let's actually let's put one right here first uh, just to give that a good line and then let's bring one here and here and then let's bring one here and here and that will give us our crisp corners with our subdivide modifier on it. Now all we have to do is uh, add an array on here like so and if you can see if we just do one that doesn't really quite get the results that we want so let's maybe like try it with that. Now you can see it, it doesn't look right yet and that, that's okay we'll, we'll fix that but you can see we only have one of these panels and we could just increase the count here make a whole bunch I'm not gonna do that though so just leave that at six what's a nifty trick here is to minimize this array and create another one and do the same thing only the main difference is this one is now we can put a gap in so like we can have these panels here and we can make just enough gap for this so I'm going to do 1.2 here as well and then we can increase this to like 10 now what's really cool here is if we select this one and we increase this one to 11 because we want one on this side and this side so there's because there's 10 panels we're going to have an extra one of these we can come all the way to this last one uh, or the second to last one either one and line this one up and everything in between will line up perfectly as well I'm going to turn this one off just so it's easier to see, see some things. Um, so yeah, so you can just drag this, and you can also just click this, and you can see, okay, right now, there's like this awkward in-between where it doesn't want to snap, and that's okay. We can just do 8.45. We can type in manual numbers. Okay, that's too much, so we can just say, okay, let's try 8.4. That's too little. Maybe 8.41. Okay, that's actually, that's actually right so we're good there so you can just kinda guess and check or drag it however you like but if you can get it over here everything else will be in line the last thing we're gonna do and this is actually really easy I'm just gonna hit shift D and it'll duplicate this entire thing uh, and I'm gonna right click and I'll just snap it in the same spot uh, that's because I just wanna get rid of all this stuff we just want the same plank and then go into your right orthographic mode by hitting 3 and hit R90. This will make it horizontal. I'm going to position it up here a little ways and then hit S for scale. And then move it in here and hit S and then lock it to the, oh, what is that axis? The Y axis. And then I'm going to just put a ray on it as well. I, I just made it this this size about in the middle here. So now I can just hit an array and I think because we rotated it this is going to be a relative so we're actually going to have to select this bottom one which should now be like one-ish. Oh it's actually going to be negative one. Okay sweet so now let's just uh, increase that. Whoa not that many though. To like 10 I think. Yeah. Okay, and we just want to make sure that this is going to be lined up where we would like it. Whoops. Okay. So let's do negative 1.05. Okay, that's too much, so maybe 0, 0.1. Okay, that's even too much, so maybe just a 0. Yeah, there we go. 
So you can actually go to as many decimal points as you need. So that actually worked out just fine. Um, and that is our gate. Oh, one more thing. You can either make an array and duplicate it down here or just hit Shift D. I'm just going to Shift D it because I, I think that's the easier operation at this point. I hope that you've learned something in this tutorial. Um, good luck in your creating of your fences. And uh, check out some more of the videos. Thanks. Bye.